One of the biggest threats against your Amazon account is IP complaints, all right? And you need to protect your account. You need to avoid listings from brands that actually issue IP complaints because you can lose your account in a dumb way if you do not pay attention, right? So in today's video, I am going to show you how to avoid and how to prevent, how to prevent, I think it's the best way, uh, the best word to describe it, how to prevent jumping onto listings with brands that do IP complaints, all right? I know if you are doing retail arbitrage, it's a little bit more complicated because usually you are just scanning and you are not really looking and to keep a graph at all this stuff but with online arbitrage it should be a little bit easier all right so uh yeah that's what we are going to do today if you do not know me my name is chris mangons i release daily videos about selling on amazon uh so subscribe and like this video that, that's it all right so let's just jump into the computer all right so um how do you prevent ip complaint how do you how do you avoid those listings so if you do online arbitrage super easy get the brand uh, get the the extension IP alert. Okay, there's a link in the description, by the way, if you want to support the channel, you can use it. Lifetime license, it's $200 and it will send you a, a notification whenever you jump on a listing, whenever you are on a listing like this, okay? Now, you need to be aware that there's a few, um, there's a few false positive with IP alert, okay? So sometimes it may send you a notification for products that you see a lot of people selling and um, that, that, that for brands that may be fine okay usually when that happens it's because they did send some stuff in the past and uh you you can verify this with keepa okay so the advice that most people give is that you go on keepa and you actually check at if you see some big clips or some vertical clips and there's no real example right there okay but you see you see a, a, a real clip okay so like going from 20 20 new sellers to zero okay or to one or two right and this would indicate that there's uh, that, that the brand does ip complaints all right but the truth is that it's a little bit more nuanced okay so for example, for, for my protein, it's a brand that I used to sell and that I got an IP uh, 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 I got an IP complaint from this brand. Okay, maybe not that listing, was probably another listing, but you can see that uh, because like you could say that it's a false negative, okay, a false positive. I'm sorry because it, it's showing you that they do IP IP complaints, but if you look at the graph, you do not necessarily see a big cliff. And I know this is the advice that everybody gives. Like whenever you see a big cliff, stay away. And this is if you do not see a big cliff, it means that they do not do IP complaints. It's not true, okay? The, this brand, 100% gives out IP complaint. All right. And so if you look at it, like if you look at it on this graph, you may not really see it, except maybe here. Okay, maybe around here, uh, if we look at it this way, yeah, not even, okay, because it's not that flat. And you see that there's always a ton of people on the listings. Now, one thing that you want to look for is the brand being on the listing. Okay, so for example, for this product, we see that my protein North America is now selling on Amazon. They used to not sell back when I was, um, back when I was selling that brand, uh, like more than one year ago. Okay, so. If the if the brand is selling on the listing, even if they even they even send they haven't sent IP complaints um, in the past, or if they haven't sent um, some recently, you can know for sure that they will eventually send uh, IP complaints. Okay, because they do not want a brand do not want stuff like this happening on their listing. Okay, they do not want their price to 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 vary to vary that much because of third party sellers. Okay, it's really bad. You do not want that. You want your price stable. Okay, and you see that actually the brand. If you look at the buy box statistics, let's check. Here we go. The brand is not even this guy was the guy that was doing wholesale on these brands. Okay, on on my protein. Like he was on every single listing. Okay. Maybe it was their, maybe it was their 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 listing. Okay. But if we actually check, the brand is not even the best. And these products sell super fast and they have a ton of stock. Okay. So it's not a supply chain issue. The brand is not even the number one uh, buy box winner. On these listings okay so you know for sure that even if they haven't done it even if they, they haven't done it they are going to try to get people rid of their listing okay you could argue um you, you, you can argue if you want you know that it's not fair all that stuff but at the end of the day if they want people to get out of their listing that's the only thing that they can do send out ip complaints so they are going to do it eventually the, maybe they haven't done it yet okay they haven't done it yet if we check like in, in the last Three months they haven't done it in the last year they haven't done it but it's not because they haven't done it that they are not going to do it 
they are definitely going to do it because they're going to get pissed off with people tanking their price and they are going to get pissed off with not being able to get 100% of the buy box because they can make a ton of money on Amazon. Okay, so either they are going to do it this way by selling themselves or they are going to get a company, a third party company to actually sell their, their ASIN to do wholesale with them, exclusive wholesale and get people out like manage their listing. Okay, if they cannot do them themselves, but they are not going to allow this um, for for a long time because they actually they did send ip complaints uh in the past all right so once again if you see a, a clip so i would say like just get ip alert okay so you can stay away from those listings but if you can't you check 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 at these red flags okay i'm we are going to look at another listing but check at these red flags check if the brand is selling if the brand is selling stay away um if if uh if you see in the past and this is what we're going to look at next okay if we look at this or this by the way if you do retail arbitrage you've seen these at ross you've seen these at um at marshall's and they are super profitable okay um but if you look at and so i sold from this brand in the past as well and um if you look at it you can see that there's no huge cliffs okay there's no cliffs like people talk about the cliffs of course sometimes we're gonna see it but they do send ip complaints okay they do send ip complaints it's just that you do not see any cliffs uh, right there but you actually can see it a little bit i guess right here uh you know the the, the, the number of sellers going up fast and then going down uh, quite fast because sometimes what would happen is that brands so cliffs would happen when brands do, uh, do just kick out everybody on the same day okay they just kick out everybody on the same day and you would see a cliff on the number of new offers okay just like you can potentially see um right here okay i would assume maybe right here you see that it goes up to four and then goes back to one like super fast all right um same thing here right there and uh yeah so you you can see this happening sometimes all right but most of the time it's not going to be the case uh and like you, some people would say that it's not that maybe they are not doing ip complaints if you look at it this way uh but let's look here uh sometimes what you would see so there's a cliff right there okay so not everybody was removed seven people were actually removed from the listing uh and it's because and, and i'm pretty sure that this is because this brand what they do is that they send you um a notice in the buyer message okay and so if you just reply to them they will actually allow you to sell down your inventory right so i guess that if you do not reply to them you do not do anything you stay on the listing uh, you just ignore them they're gonna kick you out of the listing with ip complaints all right so this is why you should always play with brand like you should always work with brand try to see first of all always um talk with the brand you, you receive one of those notice okay those, those season desist letters try to talk with the brands to see if the season desist letter first is from them and second if uh, you can actually sell down your inventory or whatever and you promise them that you're never going to get back on the listing you should work with the brands also you know sometimes you may not see it from 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 a specific listing like this but you should check multiple listings if you actually have ip alerts okay and um you 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 see that you receive notification but it does not seem like they are doing ip ip complaint check multiple listing from the brand okay so for example this this right there is kind of weird okay because it's going down kind of fast i doubt people were selling out that fast and maybe maybe it would be the case but like check multiple products from the brand because sometimes they may not do ip complaint at the, uh, uh, on every single on every single of their their ASIN, but like maybe they did for some in the past, and so make sure that if they did, if they have a history of doing IP complaint, stay away from them. Okay, definitely stay away from them because they are probably going to do it again. All right. So uh, yeah, that's it for that for, for for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you learned one thing or two. Um, if you want to learn more, you know I have my my coaching, all that stuff. Uh, subscribe, like this video. I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. All right. Thank you for watching.